here at Pizzazz Studios. So my butterflies have been pretty popular lately, so I'm gonna do another video. Um, I had made one with some oranges and reds and black, and uh, that's what I'm gonna try and do again today. I actually had made one in a previous video that was different colors. It was uh, some blues and greens with a white cell activator. It was really pretty. Uh, but this one I'm going to use a black cell activator this time. We'll see what happens. I may actually add a little copper to it as well, I think. So. What I'm going to do is I'm starting with a four and a quarter inch ceramic tile. I'm going to do it on this today. Um, I have some house paint here in a cup. I'm just going to go ahead and dump this on my tile. So I don't want to put a ton, but um, you want enough to cover your tile completely. You just don't want to overdo it. You don't want too much so it's drowning. I want to just put enough here to sort of spread it out and cover the tile. I'll leave all my recipes down in the box, in the description box here on this video. So you can take a look at that and see what I use to make this. If you have any questions or suggestions or comments, about the video go ahead and leave that down below too in the comment section i'd love to hear from you if you like the video i'd appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up and if you could subscribe to my new channel here on youtube i'd appreciate that as well okay i just want to make sure all your edges are covered also now i'm going to take my old torch I'm just gonna torch this lightly to just disintegrate some of these bubbles here. We've got a few air bubbles, not a lot. I just wanna get rid of those. So this white paint I used is a house paint. I actually use uh, GAC 800 mixed in with my house paint and some water to get it to the consistency that works for me. I'm gonna use Liquitex Basics Cadmium yellow light hue. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of white here in the center real quick. Just real quick here, right in the middle. Just a little bit, not a lot. Now I'm gonna put down the yellow. Next, I'm gonna put down Liquitex Basics uh, Cadmium Red Medium Hue. And then I am gonna try some copper. This is Artist Sloft Copper. Just gonna put a little bit here, top of the red. Actually, gonna put a little dash of gold you know, just for the fun of it. This is Deco Art. Uh, what is that? 24 karat extreme sheen metallic gold. I only put just a very little. Then I'm gonna put Artist Loft Vermilion. Actually, you know, what? yeah, Artist Loft Vermilion. This is a really pretty orange. Oh, and of course, my bottle is clogged up. Okay, well, <laughs> the beauty of live video. We'll, we'll see what happens with that mess. Okay, let's put down the cell activator right in the center. Oh boy, I hope this comes out okay. Hey, it could be a blessing in disguise, right? Now I'm gonna blow on it.
starting the head there. I'm sorry if it's in your way. Well, a bit of the orange there, but maybe this will be okay. We'll see. That was not what I intended to do, obviously. But that's okay. Either way, it's going to be a pretty tile, even if it doesn't look like a butterfly, right? <laughs> Got some pretty cells. Now I'm going to blow a little bit here in the white. Just try to push that in a little bit. You can always add a little more white there too on the edges. If you need a little more, I'll show you what I mean. Take a little bit of white. And kind of add it here. And then you can sort of blow in like that. Now I'm just going to try to shape this a little bit. This can be pretty tricky. You need to just um, sort of look at the shape and just kind of keep going with it until you get the shape that you like. There's a lot of blowing involved in this one. So if you have trouble with it, you could always try using a straw. The colors in this are pretty. I'm not exactly getting what I was going for, but we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Sometimes they don't start off so well, but then as you keep going with it, it actually turns out very nice sometimes. So don't give up too soon. I have a skewer here. It's kind of like a large or a long toothpick. I'm just kind of trying to pull the paint a little bit in certain directions. too much paint right there but I think I can make it work in my favor the cell activator is working nicely I have some some good lacing and some pretty cells You want to make sure your edges stay, stay covered with paint. Um, so I'm just going to play with this for a little bit. I don't know if it was the way I blew it out or the, the, the paint. Um, when I put down that orange, if it kind of uh, messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm going to keep playing with it here for a minute. See if we can fix this. I'm going to have to add some more white here. I think at the, I think this is going to be, well, let's see. I was going to say, I think this is going to be the top, but let me just take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you can always take your tile 
Um, I have it stuck to my mat right here, but I'm gonna lift this off the cup. You can tip it, tilt it a little bit, get it to move that way a little bit, like that. If that helps, sometimes you can do it that way. All depends on how much you need to move it and your personal preference as to how you're, what look you're trying to achieve. I'm just gonna do the same thing down here. These can be tricky, like I said, with all the, the blowing and stuff, you gotta get it just right. But it's a lot of fun. So, all right, let's see. Um, I'll blow a little more here. This start starting to look a little better. I'll turn it around here, get a better look. I'm starting to like the way this is shaping. This looks really nice. So I need to continue to work on this side and a little bit more up here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. trying to do this so it's not such a super long video, although these can take quite some time. It all depends how lucky you get when you first blow it out. So. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now at this point, I'm just kind of fine tuning the wings to kind of like the shape and the, the coloring that I like. Looks like a lot of it stayed in the middle, which is actually kind of nice. Um, I'm gonna take my skewer here. I have an air bubble I'm gonna pop. So you wanna get your toothpick or your skewer, you wanna pop your bubbles, make sure you get those. Colors are very vibrant. Vibrant. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even talk anymore. I've been painting all day, and it's about uh, 4:30 in the afternoon now. I've been painting probably since 10 o'clock this morning, so I'm getting all tired. All right, I like it. I'll turn it around here so you can see it from that angle. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, you can play around with it more. You just keep doing it until you like it, the way you like it. Um, I'm gonna take my skewer here now, or your toothpick, whatever you might have, a palette knife, whatever. Um, I'm gonna pull these up like this. So I'm just gonna go like that. Same thing over here, like that, okay? And then what you wanna do is just take like, um, I don't know, whatever color you want, say, in this case, you're gonna use black. Just put a dot, like up here, at the tip of that. You just want just very little paint on your skewer, or uh, whatever you're using to dot it with. I actually just want to do one thing here real quick. I feel like this should be a little bit more blown out down here at the bottom. I feel like that white space is just too wide there at the bottom. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Okay. So that's that. Here, let me turn around for you to see. Okay, there we go. 
so that's that. I think this came out really pretty. So the one I made earlier, I have it right here, I'll show you. Um, I did not make a video for this one. Here, you can see it. These are more like the colors I was sort of going for, but I like this one too. This one I added gold to, and this one here has no gold. Otherwise, the colors are the same. I'm just gonna put this down. We're gonna finish drying down this wet. I can do a couple others today as well. I'll show you. This one, I think, is really pretty. The colors are really pretty. So this one um, has some blue, some aqua, some turquoise, some gold. I just love that one. I think this came out really nice. Hope you can see that okay. I'm trying to hold it up to the phone for you. <laughs> Let me put this one back down, finish drying. And I did one more earlier today. I'll show you that one real quick. There's that one. A lot of blue and gold and copper in that too, but very different. Okay, so those are the ones I made today, um, among other things, but as far as my butterflies go, this is today's butterfly. So I'm gonna bring down the phone and give you a close up. Okay, here we go with the close up. I think this came out really pretty. Considering the little blunder I had there with my orange squirting out all over the place. <laughs> Did not go where I intended at all. And I had way too much of it, but it actually turned out really good in the long run. So see, sometimes you can make it work. So stick with it. If you feel like it's not working out at first. Keep playing with it a little bit. Keep going, don't give up. Okay, so that's that one. I will make more of these videos. Um, leave any suggestions or comments that you have down below for me. I'd love to hear from you. And please hit the like button if you like this video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.